Hi everybody, it's Joanne here with a work in progress and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul. If you are new to my channel, thanks so much for giving me a chance. Uh, I do these videos every Sunday just to share with you some of the things that I've picked up over the past week thrifting. And if you are returning, uh, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and get started. It's rather a small haul this week, but some kind of cool things, I think. Um, I am decorating this Christmas with the Buffalo Check black and red, and for, I think it was $3 they charged me, I picked up this bed skirt, and this piece I'm going to be able to cut up and use uh, for various reasons throughout my house, uh, maybe, you know, wrapping up the bottom of Christmas trees or that sort of thing. Uh, then I picked up and you know what? Do you ever get something and then after you bring it home you think to yourself, why did I get that? Well, this is one of those things. Um, this was 50 cents and it's a bag full of little uh, Christmas decorations. I'll go ahead and open it up for you now. Uh, first is this little jointed teddy bear. He looks like he might have been handmade, I'm not sure. And this candy cane, and that looks like it might be made out of all paper an ornament and these two little boots these are really cute these I will definitely put on the Christmas tree this year uh, another little teddy bear oh he's jointed as well he uh, is made in the USA he was made in New York no I'm sorry he was made in China from a company out of New York uh, but he's another little Christmas teddy bear there and this Christmas angel with a lot, little bit of glitter on her. And then a pine cone. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I bought the bag for the little boots. I'm not really sure. But for 50 cents, the boots were, were, uh, were a good deal, I think. I got another bag as well. And I've already opened this up because this one was stapled shut, but I haven't gone through it yet. And uh, this whole bag was $2. And I bought this bag primarily for these right here. Whoops, we are stuck. Hold on. There we are. For these. I uh, Nicole over at, um, my goodness, her all of a sudden her uh, nesting haven. She loves needlepoint and such, and I made a suggestion on her channel that maybe it'd be cute to do a Christmas tree all in needlepoint and, and uh, cross-stitch and stuff like that. So I picked these. I'm taking my own advice. I picked these up to put on a Christmas tree that I'm going to decorate completely in these little handmade kind of ornaments. And I got the, the tree as well. I'll show you that in just a moment. But additionally, in that bag was just that ornament. And uh, this ornament here, I think those are puffins. And on the back of it has this. I mean, it's nicely made. It's ceramic, I think. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's from Alaska. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, oh! Okay, I knew these were bells, but I didn't realize they're little cardinals. Aren't those cute? There's two of them. I thought they were just little red bells. They're adorable. I can't wait to put those on the tree. And uh, this brass horn with the tassel on it. And just that little butterfly ornament. And a nest. Um, which was made in China. So that was in that bag for $2. Uh, picked up, this is not Ironstone, but I picked it up anyway for my little white vase collection. And this was, let's see, actually made, now oh, this was made in China. Uh, let's see, it's Nottingham Lace. And it's this cute little picture, if you can pick up the print that's on it, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It'll be a great little addition to my uh, little white uh, ceramic uh, picture collection. And these I forgot to show you from the bins when I went down in Florida. And it's nothing exciting. It's just these two little uh, 
Christmas bows for packages. Not not necessarily Christmas, but bows for packages. And then these are super cute. This is more for my Halloween for next year. They were 99 cents a piece. They're still in the box. They originally came from Ross. And there is one. Let me see. It might be better if I take them out real quick and show you. Because the glare on the plastic is not so great. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. There, maybe that's a little bit better. Is that a little better? Look at that face on her. She's all decked out for Halloween. And then, oh, this one is too much in the box to take out. I'm sorry. But we have her. All 99 cents. I am so sorry for that glare. And then this one is a bride. <laughs> you can see her. Or I thought they were just super cool looking for 99 cents a piece. So those will go in my Halloween box stash for next year. And I told you I did pick up the Christmas tree to do the ornaments on. And this was $2.99 or $3. And I'm not super duper crazy about it. And I'm probably going to take off a lot of these balls. I might just leave the, the berries on. But the balls I think I might take off. And then I'm going to put the Christmas ornaments on them. And I don't think I'm going to hot glue them because some of these are vintage. But I'm just going to put them all over the tree. I think it's going to look super cool. I will share it with you once it is all finished. And I may do something. Maybe I'll even wrap this in the buffalo uh, check. The black and red buffalo check. And there's a few more things to share with you. Whoops. These are, oh, here's another, actually another little, this is Jingle Bells. And I think that's the needle point that'll go on my that tree. And this one, the warmth of Christmas is friendship. And this was 1976 this was made in. That's going to look super cute on that tree. I uh, got this little Christmas tree skirt. It was 49 cents. It was brand new. And that I'm going to put underneath of that tree that I made with the various uh, uh, the molds uh, that I did a video on a while back. So that'll go underneath of that. And then this is going to go on that tree as well. It's a little flocked teddy bear. And he doesn't have any markings on him or anything. He was 79 cents. But look at him in his little, his little barrel or his little wagon there. He's so cute. Um, and then two of uh, vintage. I'm, I have a small collection of vintage wooden ornaments that I'm putting underneath of a cloche. And I picked this one up for 29 cents. It was made in Taiwan. It's just this little cute Christmas teapot. And uh, I'm a nurse, for those of you that don't know. Um, I work in clinical research now, though I have not done floor nursing in way too many years. Uh, but I found this little girl here, so I thought she would be really cute to add to that collection. She was 25 cents. So she'll go under my cloche. And then these lights are super, super cool. They are 10 miniature Christmas lights made exclusively for Montgomery Ward. So there is the box that they came in. These are old. I don't know how old these are. And they don't work. The lights don't work. But I'm going to put different Christmas lights in them. And they all have different scenes inside. I can't wait to get these put on my tree, which I'm going to be putting the tree up today. I don't know when I'm going to be decorating it, but at least the tree will go up today. They're so cute. Uh, there's no date on the box. So like I said, you know, I don't know how old these are. I just know that they are old. Nope, nothing on the box. And I was chatting with the woman at the thrift store where I purchased these and she was the one I'm you know sometimes scat a little scattered she was the one that suggested to me that to put them on another light string of lights and I said oh well I'd have to find you know because it's 10 lights I'd have to find 10 lights and she said well no you could just stagger them on the lights and I'm like oh my gosh it felt so stupid absolutely right and she gave these they were unmarked she gave them to me for 99 cents. She priced them right then and there. So I can't wait to get these on the tree. That was so sweet of her to 
I'm 99 cents. How cool was that? And, and vintage lights as well. They're going to look really cool. That's it, everybody. Uh, my favorite thing this week, hmm, I think it's going to have to be the lights. I really like the Halloween decorations, but these lights, I just love them. Just love them. And I will share my tree with you once that gets all put together. So in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite uh, piece or pieces were. I, I always ask that on every Sunday. I love to see what folks enjoyed the most out of the video. And um, if you were able to watch the National Mutt Day video that I put out earlier today, I introduced you to my five furry babies that live with me, or I live with them. And I will go ahead and uh, link in the description box down below and try to insert a card as well to the playlist. So you can meet not only my fur babies, but the fur babies of some other YouTubers. So until uh, this week, actually tomorrow, where I think I have another two videos going up for uh, two challenges I'm excited about. Uh, take very, very good care of yourselves, okay? I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.